Hello guys, I am here to show you how to make a cube world server. So, the first thing that we need to do, well, you need to have cube world, obviously, but you want to go into where you installed it. I installed it on my E drive, and I'll just go here, and C drive is regular. But I installed it on my E drive because that's my primary drive that I use for everything. Go into Program Files 86 and then scroll down. Um, oh, it's just called Cube World. So you go into Cube World, and the first thing you need to do is open the server. This is the actual server that yeah and you're going to want to allow access because I mean obviously no one will be able to play on your server if you don't have it so the server is up and running but people can't join it yet so we're gonna close out of this and that's that for now and when you do when you run the server once it creates this configuration file so Okay, uh, we'll just minimize that for now. Now, the, you can run the server two ways. You can run the server as just you and your brother who's in the room next to you. You can have a LAN party and you two can play because you're on the same internet. But if you and your friend who lives across town or in China or something, want to play then you need to create a public server so that both of you can play so the first one is LAN so that's where you and your brother in the other room can play so you're going to want to open up the C con command prompt which is CMD and you're gonna want and you should see this and you're going to type IP config and you're just gonna see a ton of nonsense that you don't even really need to worry about but you want to look for this one the IPv4 and get that address 192.168.1.3 so if your brother wants to join your your cube world server almost in minecraft okay then he would just type in this IP address 192.168.1.3 and he should be able to connect okay so we have that so this is your computer okay understand that now for everyone else to join your server you need to make your server visible so you need to port forward so you want to type in 192.168.1.1 that should bring you to your default router and this a little username and password pops up and you need to log in to your thing and I'll have a description on a list of a giant of just every single router and their username and password to get into it so no I do not want this and you want to look for port forwarding right here on my net gear and I should see I already have some but you want to create a server IP address I think if you do point three port forwarding point three click add oh crap whoops delete that one no add custom so add custom so we're gonna call it cube world you want TCP and UDP starting port is one two three four five and the same thing for the ending port we're gonna put the server IP address on three because that's what it is there pretty sure that should work and we're gonna click apply oh can't have a space up here gonna click apply and there we go now we can exit out of that 
don't need this anymore. Let's start up the server. Waiting for connection. I'm gonna. I. No. I'm not gonna be able to run Cube World with recording this. And. I, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, so. We have the server. You should be able to just click join server in Cube World and just type it. Oh, that's what I need to go over. What is my IP? You do. What is my IP? Give this to your friend in China or wherever after you opened up your server in your Cube World folder. And he will be able to connect with this IP address. You need to give him this one or else it won't work. But if you're playing with your brother, then you could just give him the IP address that you saw in the command prompt. And that is pretty much it, I think. Uh, I have fun with your servers. Maybe you could join mine eventually. Yeah.